If you're going to get a mortgage in 2024, here's a couple of things to keep in mind. A lender is qualifying you based off the monthly payment, not the actual cost of the house. So it's your principal and interest, your property taxes, your homeowner's insurance, potential WA and potential PMI if you put down less than 20%. So all of that has to fit in your monthly allowance. How do they determine your monthly allowance? Something called debt to income ratio. So let's say you make $100,000. The typical debt-to-income ratio sits around 40%, so you multiply that by 40%, leading you with $40,000 divided by 12 months gives you a monthly allowance of $3,333. Your monthly debts, your car, your student loans, your credit card and personal loans, whatever those monthlies are, if it adds up to $1,000, they subtract that off of your allowance. So if you have $3,333, but $1,000 worth of car payments and student loans, you can now only afford $2,333. So you'd have to put down either a bigger down payment, get a house that costs a little less, or you'd have to pay that debt off. So that's why it's important when you're on your home buying journey to speak to a professional lender to get your ducks and roasts. You don't go buy a car three weeks before you're trying to get a house, so do some research.